Hey, what is up guys? Homeless Rider here bringing you a brand new tutorial video and before I get on with this tutorial, there's two things I want to say. First off, I apologize for not making a video in a couple weeks and second off, I do apologize too uh, if you hear like my windows rattling or anything because it is really, really windy outside my home so I apologize for that in the future just in case you can't hear that. But basically guys, what I'm, what I'm going to be showing you in this tutorial is how you can get free music that you download from the free mp3 app off off of your uh, Apple device and then onto your computer and then you can do with it as you please from there. So to begin with, you're going to need to get this iBackup bot program. There will be a link to it in the description where you can go download it. Uh, no viruses, no none of that stuff. And all you need to do is just plug in your Apple device. I my iPod Touch plugged in and also you can do your uh, if you have any backups of any devices you can go in there and get them from from your backups. So basically, you just I'm, I'm going to be going for my devices. Just go to user applications, and then on this free MP3 app, that's the app that you download in order to get all your free music. Double click on it. Go into the documents folder. Double click your downloads, and then you have all the songs here. And then you can basically just select the songs that you please. I'll just get a couple of them here. You can you see this export button here. Just click it. And then just make a folder or just any folder that you please. I'll just make a new folder. Name it iPod Music. Just select the folder, put it in there. And it will say bring up this up. Say exporting files. Five files imported. And then you can go to navigate to that folder, and then all of your songs are in there. And now from here, that's the basic part of the tutorial. But let's say that you just didn't want the music on that free MP3 app, which is how I figured this out. It's because I wanted it on my actual iPod um, music application that comes pre-installed with your uh, Apple device. Just go into iTunes, and then just select your device. Go into music, hit sync music. And then do selected playlist artist albums, etc. And then with the songs over here, I'm just going to guess that it doesn't have any artists. Either that or I always because I already have it. But anyway, uh, the artist should come up over here. Then you can just select the ones that you please and then just hit apply. I'm sorry. The reason that the uh, artists and stuff didn't come up, I just remember now, you have to hit file. And for the newest um, iTunes, if you guys don't have this toolbar here or this little side section on the left side, you just, you know, if it's like this, all you need to do is hold Control, hit B, and hit S, and then that'll come up. For, but from here, you can just hit File, or you can just come up here and hit this little button. But you just go to Library, or no, go to Add File to Library, but I'm going to actually add a folder to Library. And then just navigate to where that you saved your music. I have it here on my desktop. Oops. So just navigate to it, select it, select folder, and then it'll say it's putting everything into your library. And then you can hit sync music. And now the artists come up. Just select the ones that you want. Just hit apply and it will add it for you. So if you guys, uh, if this tutorial helped you guys, my, excuse me, if this tutorial helped you guys, I ask you please leave a like, comment, subscribe, helps me out a lot. So that's from that guys, have a nice day, and peace out.